What's going on everybody? I'm Big C Nano 210 and today this video is a very quick one. It's on the subject of Alex Fixes. I was asked by a viewer called Fico Bronzeveld. Um he asked me, Hey dude, do you know a way of to let the integrated web server run on port 80? Now, I know the I know the reason why Fico would want to do this. What he's basically saying is is that having a really crazy port number is a bit of a pain in the arse. And you would like to have it so that when people go to like a regular web page, they can view the map that way rather than having to go to like whatever your web server name is, port 8084 or whatever that might be. So Fico, the short answer is no. You can't, from, I do not know how to change that port so it would be on port 80. However, here is a very easy workaround that I've got for you. So... Yeah, I have a page called index.html, and if I open this with Notepad++, I'm just going to zoom in a bit for you, you will see that all this is, is a very basic web page. For any of you guys who know HTML, you're going to look at this and you're going to go, ah, why didn't I think of that? All it is, it is a very straightforward page that makes a frame, which is called an iframe, to display another page inside of a web page so it's a it's it's basically a web page with another page inside of it so the trick is is that we're going to put our map page on its unusual port inside of a web page which we can then put anywhere um an example of this would be um here is is it no it's not here yeah where the hell is it so if you go to if we go here we can see that um we scroll down a bit this is my web server and this is my little web page that i've made for my web server and you can see here is the map and the map is inside of another web page. And that is just simply using this code. This code actually, when you when you load this code up, so if you right click on this HTML file and go open with Internet Explorer, it makes the whole thing full size. Now, if you've noticed, I've actually taken away the ability to see where everybody is and stuff like that on the map. Um, so I'll show you how to do that on a different video because I want my community to be able to see the map, but I don't want them to be able to know where everybody is. So, yeah. Um, all I'll put a link to this file in the description. So the only thing that you need to do is download it, um, change this line here to wherever your map currently is, and then, I don't know, put it on, make your own little free... I don't know, your own free uh, web page somewhere. There's thousands of different places that offer you to make your own web page. And then just upload this piece of HTML and va va voom. If you've got your own web server that you're hosting, um, then just put this page in and va va voom. It means you can send people to www.whatever web page you want and they can access it through port 80. They don't have to use any crazy links or crazy ports or anything like that. So I hope that's answered your question. Um, and yeah, this is just a short video. I'm going to be making another video very soon, which I'm going to show you how to tweak the code of Alex map in order to be able to hide the uh, features of the map. But for this for this video, that's it. I'm Big C 902 I know the link to this file is in the description. Download it, change it, use it whichever way you want. Um, you're more than welcome. And I shall see you guys next time.